I'm going to start making a few tutorials on 32-bit assembly, but I'm not going to go very far because 32-bit assembly is difficult and really it's hard to find good code and a lot of it is that I um, find is Linux only and I'm trying to do stuff that's cross compatible so there's not going to be that many tutorials um, this one um, I'm, this is going to be the first one though it's going to be a basic hello world you need two things installed the netwide assembler or NASM and M I N G W min G W I think that's what it is and if I open up CMD um, I put shortcuts in my command prompt but when you install NASM you'll see inside C users whatever username is app data local NASM you'll you'll have this new folder and inside of it you'll have nasm.exe there we go there's help and um, if you're using Linux, you install it through that little sympathetic installation manager, whatever it's called. I haven't used Linux in a while. But you could just look up a video on how to install NASM on Linux. You also need to install that other thing I told you about. Um, when you install MinGW, I'll put a download link for this too. When you install it, inside your C drive, you'll get something called a folder called MinGW. And inside of that folder, you have the bin folder, and those are the folders you need. So first, you want to open up Notepad. I have Notepad 2 installed, because Notepad 2 and Notepad++ both have syntax highlighters. I prefer Notepad 2 just because it has a simpler feel to it, but they're both pretty good. And you just want to save a file to your desktop as hello world.asm. Now, now, um there are three sections to three main sections for a um, um, an assembly code you write section dot data section dot bss and section dot text section dot data is where you store your like kinda like your variables how we're doing in 16 bit assembly bss is where you reserve data like how we were doing, like reserve bytes, reserve word, reserve double, stuff like that. And section dot text, this is where all our code goes. Um, now, so first, what we need to do is we need to, at the top, we gotta declare gl main as global. Now, depending, sometimes it'll, I don't know why, but sometimes for people, they don't need this underscore, and sometimes they do. Just, if you need, if it gives you an error, if you put this underscore before main, then just remove the underscore. But for me, I need it. So uh, you gotta say global main, and then on text, you need to create your main, like your main function. To do this, we need to write underscore main, and then return, kind of like a function. And then we want to write inside of it, um, move, move into EBP. We gotta set up our stacks. So we're going to push. EBP into the stack and move into their ESP and to end our function we're going to move um, back into ESP EBP and pop EBP out of our stack so that's how we set up the main function um, now if we run this code how, how we compile it is first you go to where um, NASM is located wherever it's located and you want to write in the command NASM dash format dash f which means format we want to format it as elf and you want to say nasm dash f elf and then just if you're using windows you can just either drag in your file and it'll write the name for you and press enter and as you can see on your desktop you get hello world dot o and now that's your object file and you gotta go to c slash mgw bin if you're using um Linux, I know on Linux that you actually don't have to navigate to where um, this is installed. On Linux you can just type in gcc and it'll work from anywhere. So, but if you're on Windows you want to navigate to c mingw bin and you're going to write gcc space and you're going to drag in your hello world dot o and you're going to push the space and write 
my um I'm gonna write dash o and push space again and you're gonna drag in this again and you're gonna push backspace twice to remove the extension so that's kind of complicated but basically you write gcc which is the command the name of your object file dash o and then the name of your exe file and then you press enter and you'll get this new exe file on your desktop hello world.exe this is 32 bit and so it will run on a 64 bit computer so if i drag this on as you can see it does nothing because it ha we haven't told it to do anything yet um, so that that's basically setting up um, I'm going to go ahead and do the hello world in the next tutorial. This is just a basic tutorial for setting up your, um, um, setting up like your main code and stuff.